Hi there, it's Stephanie. So I have a glossary idea I wanted to share with you. And this idea came about by the limitation of the built-in glossary within Storyline. So the built-in glossary is part of the player interface. And you can turn it on, enable it or disable it. And when you do so, any terms that you entered along with their definitions appear. So you click on, and click on each and then see the definition below. So it's a very basic glossary. It's sorted alphabetically and it works quite well. It's easy to use. The problem with it sometimes is that it doesn't have any link to the actual content in a slide. So for example, this slide is using all, all of the same terms, but there's no way for a user uh, to be able to see the definition of that term unless they actually go to the interface, click on glossary, look it up in the list, and then see it this way. So it's a few extra keystrokes or most clicks for people to do that. And sometimes it's a little easier just to be able to roll over it while you're reading the content. So what I've done here is I've created, it's pretty simple to do. I've just created three different variables in this uh, example because I only have three different terms. And I've called the variables the same names as you can see as the terms itself here. And the default content for each of the variables is the definition of the term. And then whenever I want to display the term, all I have to do is put a reference to that variable and the content will appear. So in this case, when the, mouse, when the user rolls over the term, the definition appears, actually it's in a new layer. You can't see that from here, but it is uh, opening up a new layer on this slide with this little blue box and then the variable reference so that the content is displayed. What I've also done is I've created a slide, slide number three, called Glossary. And I've put some animations in this slide and here I have a listing of all the terms. Now if I had a lot of terms I'd probably put a scroll box in here so I can scroll up and down through the terms and I'd probably organize them alphabetically but what I've also done, because Storyline allows you to put in a custom menu choice up top, I've created a custom menu choice called Glossary, and when I click on it, it lightboxes the third slide, which is the Glossary slide. So I have this very similar uh, function, feel and function, as to the, the default Glossary that's built in. When you click Glossary, you can see your terms. When you click the custom Glossary, you can also do the same here. Plus, I've made it look nice and I've made it match with the theme and put in some animation work as well. So it's actually quite nice too. And again, here I'm using the same three variables and all I'm doing is inserting the references to each so that the default values of those variables are displayed on screen. So here's where the rollovers are. You can see that there's four hotspot rollovers. So there's only three unique terms, but I've duplicated one because I wanted to actually reference it twice on the slide and when the user rolls over you can see in the trigger panel when the user roll, rolls over any one of these hot spots it's going to display uh, the corresponding layer and here are the corresponding layers so on the very first one here if they roll over then it's going to just to display this so just basically a blue box and there's that reference to the variable called glossary tbbt and the second uh, variation of that is another layer uh, because I wanted uh, the blue box to be positioned closer to where that second variation or the second instance of the word appears and responsibilities and operating. So I'm able to customize the look and the feel and position it exactly where I want it to be on the screen and I'm not retyping any words I'm just simply uh, referencing the variable when I need to display it. And that same technique is used over here on the, the glossary page where I've just inserted the reference where I wanted to, the uh, definitions to appear. And that's it. So it's actually very easy to use. Uh, the one other thing you might want to take a look at is on the player side of things, just to get that custom menu choice that I described up that glossary layer that's sitting over here that's just light boxing a slide what you want to do you can kind of see the panel here and top right I have glossary so basically I had to create a new item and there's a new button here and so you just go new item and so you want what name do you want it where's it going to be positioned and what do you want it to do in this case I wanted it to light box a slide but you can see it can do quite a few other things here uh, for custom menu choices but I just said light box the slide and when the user clicks and it, then it displays that light boxed content and the glossary listing. Uh, and that's about it. So hopefully you find that helpful. And again, I'll 
We'll leave a link here to this file so that you can download and play with it.